Are you looking for a canoe trip for beginning whitewater enthusiasts, like a short weekend trip? Well, I've got a river for you. It's the Mississauga River in central Ontario. So that's not the Mississauga River or the Mississauga River. It's the Mississauga River with a G-U-A at the end. Uh, it's a short little river. You could run it in a day, uh, but you could also take your time and take two or even three days uh, to run this little river. So let me show you, uh, let me show you what I mean. Okay, here's the river. And as maybe you can tell uh, from these uh, pictures and videos, it's um, you get a really wilderness feel uh, for the Mississauga River when you're in Kawartha Highlands Provincial Park. Uh, so at the beginning, there's cottages, and then you get the odd structure uh, as you go down. But for the most part, uh, you get a really good wilderness feel. Uh, as you can tell here, it's a small river. Um, this is in low water conditions, so you know we ended up running some of these rapids like this, but we also did a lot of portaging. And in fact, um, so Kevin Callan himself recommended this route to me uh, when we were at the, uh, the Wilderness uh, and Adventure Expo in Toronto. And, um, and I realized later that really you shouldn't run it in the summer because the water does get low and you end up portaging some pretty significant portages uh, to get around. And it was a bit buggy when we did it in um, in uh, early July. Uh, so I would recommend that you do it earlier in the season uh, when the water's high, uh, and that way you'll be able to run most uh, most of the rapids. There is a, there is a dam uh, lower down uh, on the river as well as a falls, but um, um, a couple of the guys on our trip did run uh, the, the supposed falls. I'd call it a class three, uh, at least at that water level. So you'll wanna check it out. Um, but anyhow, you don't need advanced whitewater skills to do this, uh, to do this river. There are some, you know, class one and class two sets uh, that are lined up. So you do get some nice long stretches uh, of whitewater, but they're pretty mild and, and pretty, uh, pretty easy to navigate. So where is, uh, where is the Mississauga River? Well, here uh, on Google Maps, you can see um, Peterborough uh, down here. And you can see Kawartha Highlands Provincial Park indicated up here. And then the takeout is near the town of Buckhorn here. So let me uh, zoom in a little bit. Here we go. So if you're coming to the town of uh, Buckhorn, you'll be going up this uh, highway or road uh, 36. The takeout point is here. It's, it's really well marked. Um, it's a great takeout. There's plenty of parking so you can leave a car you know, at the bottom of the river. Uh, there are bathroom facilities at the uh, takeout. You do need to reserve or pay for parking at the takeout point. There's a sign as you come in with a phone number that you can call to do that. You can also do it online, but it's it's important that you do that so that you don't get you don't get a ticket. Then you know, so you drive up the uh, the 36 and get onto the 507. So as you're going up towards Mississauga Landing, there's a turnoff for the Mississauga Dam Road. So you take that dam road right to the water's edge. I think the, um, the the landing, the boat landing, is just above the dam, which is a bit awkward. So you need to like portage to get your vehicle, or get your boats below the dam, and then you also need to make sure that you've bought registered parking for your vehicle at the put-in point as well, so you don't get ticketed while you're while you're on the river. Okay, and then you uh, come down the river here. You can see it parallels uh, the road uh, as you come down. Uh, there are some cottages, uh, quite a few cottages at the beginning uh, of the trip. And then you enter Kawartha Highlands Provincial Park and that's when you really get the wilderness uh, feel uh, of the river. And there's, there's the takeout. So that's, um, you know, from takeout to put in, you know, probably about half an hour um, drive uh, between them. So pretty straightforward. There's one turn you need to make. So, uh, you know, you should probably have your Google, um, your Google turned on there. Here's a map of Kawartha Highlands Provincial Park. So as I mentioned, uh, the Mississauga River goes along the side there. I don't know if you can see that, but it sort of dips in and out of the park. So obviously when you're, um, out of the park, you're either on private land or crown land. So you got to pay attention. And then when you're in the park, the campsites are all marked by number. So um, just like anything in Kawartha Highlands Provincial Park, you actually have to go on to the Parks Ontario website and reserve the campsite. So you can do it by number. And uh, just a pro tip, uh, camp, 
uh, site number 603 is amazing. It's, it's um, surrounded on three sides by uh, rapids and, and waterfalls. Um, and then there's a portage trail that goes through it, but great campsites there. So what we did is we actually spent uh, one night out off the river uh, and camped uh, nearby. We, we stayed at Silent Lake Provincial Park. It's a bit far though, I wouldn't recommend that, that distance. It was a bit of a, a hike to get to the put-in. Uh, but then we stayed two nights on uh, Campsite 603, which was brilliant. Plenty of space and it was a beautiful site. And then we took a kind of a rest day just to, to have fun. Uh, and that turned out really well, so I can really recommend that. Also, if you want to, from that campsite and from others, you can go into the rest of uh, Kawartha Highlands Provincial Park. So if you'd prefer to kind of check out some lake and, and do a little bit of extra paddling, uh, you can, that's, that's easy enough to do. Um, in terms of maps that you can bring with you, um, there's the maps by Jeff uh, for Kawartha Highlands, which are excellent. Let's see here. This uh, sort of paddling map here. And on the one side of the map, uh, like all maps by Jeff, is a planning uh, map. So that sort of tells you how hard the portages are and the rapids and so forth and gives you some time indications. And then the other side is for being on the actual water, which is easier to navigate by. Um, and you can also get the uh, Kawartha Highlands Signature Site map uh, from, um, from the park. Uh, which is also probably a good idea uh, to have, especially if you're gonna if you're gonna go around in the uh, in the park uh, on your rest day. Um, at the takeout point, there is a lazy river, and a lot of the locals you'll see are uh, you know walking um, from their cars at the takeout point on the Mississauga River and walking to the river, doing the lazy river, getting out, and then walking back. There's a hiking trail uh, that they use. Uh, so don't be surprised if, um, you know, just after you've had this sort of wilderness experience and you get to the takeout, you'll see all sorts of cars on a nice day um, with people coming and going uh, to the Lazy River. And if you have time to kill, uh, that would be a great way uh, to do it. Uh, also, uh, in the region, uh, if you're interested, there is uh, Petroglyphs Provincial Park, which is a short drive away from uh, the Mississauga River, which is um, the highest concentration of petroglyphs uh, in Ontario. Um, and there's also, if you're coming sort of from the Ottawa direction, which is where we're coming from, uh, there's great rock hounding uh, in the area and Bancroft and, and so forth. So um, that's probably worth uh, looking into as well. So there you have it. It's the Mississauga River, a short little river uh, for beginners, uh, but with um, some white water uh, to it. Um, and just like on other Ontario parks, great portages, great campsites with facilities. Uh, and so all around um, a great uh, way to spend a, a weekend or a, or a long weekend. So I hope that helps you out and I hope you get out there. And if you do, maybe we'll see you.